why do we get goosebumps? The answer starts with our prehistoric ancestor. Not that one. That one. When an ape perceives a threat, its sympathetic nervous system releases a chemical called norepinephrine, which kicks its body into fight or flight mode. Adrenal glands flood its system with adrenaline, stimulating tiny muscles in the skin called a rectoris pallorum. This hormone causes the ape's hair to stand straight up. There's good biological logic for this reaction. With its hair on end, the ape looks bigger and more intimidating to scare off potential attackers, like this, sort of. This process, called piloerection, turns a cute into a brute in seconds. Humans also experience that same rush of adrenaline and same piloerection when our emotions run high. But we don't have nearly as much hair as we used to, so when we get excited or scared, all we see are the raised hair follicles, the goosebumps. But what about goosebumps from cold weather? When an animal's skin perceives extreme cold, a part of the brain called the hypothalamus triggers involuntary piloerection. The raised fur traps an insulating blanket of toasty warm air underneath their fur coat. But when we evolved from apes into people, we lost our fur coat. So why do we get goosebumps? They don't make us look tougher and they don't keep us warm. Goosebumps are just a physiological leftover from our hairy past. No, we mean our very hairy past.